Hello and welcome to my IDEX Elegoo Neptune 4 build. Um, it's fully DIY. Plan is to use two of essentially a modified version of the original tool head um, using canvas um, from Big Tree Tech. I want to have the tool head, the two tool heads side by side, kind of like that. Yeah. Plant, or I already have a 450 millimeter linear rail, and my hope is to just be able to put the two tool heads side by side. Each one gets its own block on the linear rail. And the first part of the build slash CAD process was figuring out how I'm gonna mount the motors. And my idea was to try and piggyback off of the mounts that are already on the bridge for these, what's it called? I guess it's the Z gantry, but it's on the X bar yeah but it has two little screws that then have eight millimeter spacers on them and i essentially just designed the plastic to be slightly bigger and it perfectly slots over and it's going to be it's going to use both gaps so in front of the roller and behind it so here's the other part being printed there we go the back part, the front part, they have a bunch of screw holes uh, to essentially bolt them together. Right now it is just printed in PLA, just because I wanted to test fit everything. Then I started disassembling the printer because I wanted to do a, a dry fit to see if the two, two tool heads fit next to each other, how the linear rail went on, all of that. I was pretty sure the linear rail would go on fine because it's the same size as the previous one in terms of uh, the thickness. They're both MG9, I want to say. Um, yes, this is the original tool head. I have a uh, a beacon probe on it. I have three 515 millimeter fans. Um, and the plan is to use the same style tool head on the, or the same style fan and cooling ducts and everything on the second tool head. Um, I don't have a second beacon probe, and I'm not gonna get another one because they're expensive. But I'll figure that part out later. So I wanted to double check that the blocks that I got for the linear rail were correct and lined up correctly with what I already had and the other metal bracket I had for the second tool head. And right around now is when I started to realize, no, they don't match. I bought a linear rail with MGN 9 rails, uh, or, I apologize, I meant MGN 12 this whole time, uh, yeah, MGN 12 H, I bought two blocks for, turns out one tool head is designed for, uh, the H pattern blocks, and one tool head is designed for the C pattern blocks, and, yeah, so, now I'm going to have to figure out how to remove the linear blocks, or the blocks from the linear rails, so that I can have one C block and one H block on my 450 millimeter long linear rail. So, let's get to that. After watching some YouTube videos and figuring out how to do this carefully, and without losing all the ball bearings, like I did on one old linear rail. Um, but that's luckily none of these. This one is very messy from, uh, what's it called? Lithium grease? Yeah, lithium grease. Um, yeah, very carefully pulling linear rail out 
making sure that all of the ball bearings are still there. In case you couldn't tell, I was very nervous doing this. But, success. Worked out. Now, on to the next one. Just a wee bit of WD-40. Now let's get the other lemon rail ready to go. off and then put that other block onto this linear rail. That's the plan. Then I very carefully removed the other uh, H size block from the larger linear rail and installed the C size block. And overall it went pretty smooth and I slid it around a bit to make sure it was all good and moved on. I also reinstalled the uh, H-size block that I took off the 450mm linear rail back onto the smaller linear rail that was originally on my printer. Frustratingly, when I tried to do this, some of the ball bearings started falling out, so this was a, a bit of a pain. Every time I tried, more ball bearings fell out. Eventually I got it, just two ball bearings fell out, but then I managed to reinstall them. The tolerance on this were not good. I do not recommend anyone do this. Use your linear rails with the blocks they came with. They are sized to work together. I am just being cheap. Now that the linear rails were clean and lubricated, I was ready to test install the larger linear rail. For now, I'm just using the same mounting system 
that I had on my linear rail before. This is just a generic kit that I got on AliExpress to mount a linear rail onto an Elegoo Neptune 4. This mounting method would save me a lot of time and effort in terms of re-engineering everything. Well, I'm going to have to redesign a few things. I'm hoping I can just space the aluminum bar out a few millimeters, maybe half a centimeter, from where it mounts um, basically the metal plate that holds the palm wheels that then attach to the aluminum upright. But that's going to have to be in part two. See you then. <laughs>